Hi guys! I'm back! I am Swing V and today I'm going to perform about manufacturing together with my former classmate, co-intern, and my study buddy. Nyaaang! Gemma Don! Hi guys! So I'm Gemma Don. I'm a medtech too. Three years na kami ng medical technologist. So sabay kami nag-intern, sabay kami nag-review for board exam, sabay din kami mumasa. And para mag-iba na kami ngayon ng workplace. So sa video ito, tuturuan namin kayo kung paano mag-collect ng blood. Ako po yung medical technologist at siya yung patient. At sa video din na ito, i-discuss din namin kung ano yung kailangan yung pagdaan, ang kailangan nyo ito sa the dream manufacturer at kung ano ba yung natawag natin na order of drug. So ready na ba kayo? Let's go! <laughs> Identification of patient. Siguraduhin na nagmamatch yung pangalan ng pasyente sa request na hinahawakan natin. Siguraduhin din na state ng patient yung full name niya. At para ma-double check, tanungin din yung kanyang birth date. Identification of patient yung pinaka-crucial step sa lahat ng blood collection technique. Hey, Madam Leonardo. Morning, Madam. Morning. Pwede po pa-state ng full name niyo. Leonardo Jatadana. Ano po yung birthday niyo? August 1990. Ako po yung medtech niyo for today. May energy po kayo sa latex. Wala naman po. Anong oras po yung last niyong kain? 9 p.m. na gabi mo. Second step is preparation of materials. Sa step na ito, ihahanda natin ang mga gamit na ating kailangan. Una, kailangan natin ng alcohol pad or di kaya wet cotton na nasok sa 70% isopropyl alcohol, dry cotton, microfor, tourniquet, syringes, at tubes. Sa step na na ito, ipiprepare natin ang ating needle. Una, kailangan natin itighten ang needle para ma-prevent natin ang injury. Pangalawa, kailangan natin i-make sure na walang air sa loob ng syringe. Kailangan natin i-push and pull ang barrel ng syringe. Third step, application of the tourniquet. 3 to 4 inches above the bend of the elbow. Make sure na naka-fist yung kamay ni patient for palpitation. Fourth step, selection of the vein. Ang pinaka-common na site for venipuncture ay natawag natin anticubital fossa. Sa anticubital fossa, meron tayong H-pattern ng vein. Sa gitna, ang median cubital vein, ang vein of choice dahil ito ay stable. Cephalic vein, ang problema lang, ang vein na ito ay may tendency na mag-roll. Third choice, ang basilic vein. Ang vein na ito ay may tendency din mag-roll at prone natin ma-heat ang brachial artery. Then, remove the tourniquet. Fifth step, cleansing of the venipuncture site using 70% isopropyl alcohol. In circular motion, from inside to outside, allow to dry para hindi mahapdian yung pasyente at para ma-prevent yung contamination ng alcohol sa specimen. And then, reapply tourniquet. Sixth step, insertion of the needle. 
First, anchor the vein. Using your done dominant hand, pull the skin 1 to 2 inches from the puncture site. Make sure na hindi matatouch ang sterility ng ating site. I make sure na ang position ng needle ay naka bevel up. Observe 15 degrees angle. Gently insert the needle. And then check for the backflow. Pull the plunger slowly. Release the tourniquet as soon as the blood enters the syringe. Continue to pull the plunger until the desired amount. Get a dry cotton and place it above the needle and smoothly withdraw the needle. And then, do not recap the needle. Instead, do the fishing method. At the same time, tell the patient to apply pressure to the venipuncture site. Make sure to discard the needle to the sharps disposal container. Order of draw. First, blue tap. It has 3.2% sodium citrate anticoagulant. It is used for APTT and PT test. Do the 3 to 4 inversion. It has anticoagulant to blood ratio of 1 is to 9. It's red top. It has no additive. It can be used for chemistry like FBS and lipid profile. It can also be used for serology like pregnancy test and testing for HBSAG. Next is our gold top. Gold top is also a serum tube but it has a gel separator which is made of Tixotropic gel. It can be used for chemistry, serology, the same test as red tap. It has five times inversion. X purple tap or EDTA, also known as ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. This tube is used for complete blood count, reticulocyte count, platelet count, and other hematologic procedures. It should be inverted. 8 times. Pwede ka na po kumain na. Balikan niya lang po after 5 hours yung isop niya. Thank you. Thank you. Para matandaan nyo ang order of draw, you can remember this mnemonic. You bring romance and genuine love forever. Y stands for yellow top. Next, blue or light blue. Next is R for red. G for green tube. L for lavender top. And F for fluoride. Fluoride is a gray top that has glycolytic agent that is used for glucose determination. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Gio Salano and Josh Merced. Shout out to third year math students of St. Gerber College. Please like and subscribe. Comment and share. Thank you. Bye.